My research focuses on learning from multiple sources of data for better prediction. We develop translational AI technologies for better analyzing multimodal data in healthcare, including medical images, genomics data, chemical data, and electronic health record data. From this data, we learn useful features and also analyze their complex relationships. This PyQ project aims to develop a software package for machine learning from multiple sources of data for interdisciplinary research. We formulated green machine learning principles to reduce repetitions, reuse existing resources, and recycle machine learning models across disciplines. We designed pipeline-based API to standardize all machine learning workflows into the same six steps. We take the FAIR approach because we rely on open source software in both our teaching and research activities. Therefore, we want to become part of it. In September 2021, our PyQ software package was officially approved to become official member of the world-leading PyTorch ecosystem. There are many barriers and challenges. The most challenging one is the time and efforts needed to make things happen. To overcome this, we have to align this with our other tasks. What we did is to blend this with our other teaching and research activities. In retrospect, I would like to have started some of the necessary tasks much earlier, such as testing. It seems to be quite difficult before we actually start doing it. But once we have done a few examples, it appeared to be relatively easy. We should spend less time worrying and more time coding. Having built this open source software package, it becomes much easier for us to share our research. For example, anybody with a Google account will be able to run our real-world machine learning example on the cloud in their browser without any local installation. This enables us to bring more students and researchers on board to either contribute to its development or make use of it. In the collaboration with AstraZeneca, we have agreed from the beginning that all our development will be made open source under the PyQ framework. The FAIR principle will continue to play a vital role in my research. I embed these principles not only to my research, but also teaching and services. All my teaching materials are made open source and freely available on GitHub. In my role as the Turing Network Development Award lead, we created a Sheffield AI website as an open source project where everyone can contribute and participate in its development. If you are a researcher wishing to generate real-world impact from your research, you should definitely follow the FAIR principle. Making your data and software FAIR is the most effective and efficient way to generate impacts. If you are not sure about how to do it, the best way is to find good examples sharing similarities with what you want to do and learn from these good examples to become one of them over time.